Well, for over 50 years, if you're in the middle of summertime, you've got to be thinking about Swan Island Dahlias and their Dahlia Festival, and I'm here with Nick Getz. And Nick, this, this is really always breathtaking when we come out here, and we are right in the middle of this festival right now, aren't we? Right, yeah, it runs Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, 10 to 6 each day. It actually runs two weekends. It actually runs Labor Day weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday also. Well, now, I want to talk about some of the things that are going on, but first, I would be remiss to not notice what is here in, in front of us. These are <laughs> beautiful blooms. Go over a little bit of, of some of the different varieties, some of the new stuff you have. Well, these are a couple of new varieties here. This, this is just introduction. We hybridize every year from, from seed. It takes four or five years to get them to the point where we can sell them. But this is a new one called Blondie. Mm. This is a new one called Flamethrower. Wow. Uh, there, we usually introduce about a dozen new varieties each year. Um, it takes a lot of work, you know, hybridizing. And it really is an investment because oh. of the time it takes to get to yes, the, exactly. that point. Yes, exactly. Yeah, a lot of seed is done, and there's a very few that are really good enough to make it to the market. Absolutely. Uh, these are a couple of old timers, oh, wow. Emery, Paul, and Mackie, that are just, just gigantic. They just uh, don't look real. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> How can they be that big? <laughs> And it, it, one thing about dahlias, too, is they come in so many different sizes and shapes. You know, you have your open center types, you know, from an orchid type to, this is actually called a single and a peony, but, you know, you have in, informal decoratives, cactus where they're real spiky. Yeah. Uh, flat petal types are water lily. And the colors, uh, the all, range of colors is insane. Everything basically but blue. Yeah. So then you have, you know, some of your dinner plates, which are, you know, very, very attractive, very unique. Now, a lot of people do want to bring these indoors as cut flowers. How do you go about doing that in the best way, in your opinion? The best way for cut flowers is we, we ship thousands of dozens. We use hot water. It's mm -hmm. 160 degrees. You can see where it kind of burned the, burned the stem. Mm -hmm. So you only use like two or three inches of water, 160 degrees, and let them cool in that for like an hour, a little over an hour. And then you put them in fresh, cool water. But uh, the hot water opens them up so they can drink. And we put flower food at the same time as when they're doing that first sure. big drink with the hot water. The flower food goes up and feeds them. Makes them last five, seven days. Wow. And, well, I can't, they're just, they really are amazing now. And do you think, do the big ones last longer, less longer than the smaller the, ones? Is there a length of time difference in the bloom? A little bit. The giant ones probably are a three to four day flower. Your middle size is really your four inch flower, five inch flower, are really the prime ones we use mainly for cut flowers. Yeah. A little longer life. And for some reason, Usually your little, your open center types, these type are a little bit less on life. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one is called bashful, which isn't really a bashful color, <laughs> but it's a long lasting one. But generally most of the open center ones are a little bit shorter life and the giants are short, but your middle sized blooms is what you really want for great cut flowers. Now during your, during this uh, celebration of dahlias out here, you do have uh, florists so you can see displays, see how you could take these and make them into flowers in your own house and arrangements. Right, yeah, the floor, we have hire quite a few florists to come out all day Friday to set the show. We cut like 15,000 blooms wow. and they're all professionally arranged in, indoors uh, in a big warehouse. And uh, they can, people can see, you know, how they go in arrangements. And we actually have arranging demonstrations, uh, culture talks on how to grow your dahlias, uh, demonstrations how to divide the tubers. Uh, we have cut flowers for sale, refreshments, uh, free parking, free show. Uh, now there is something special about this year, but it's really not about dahlias. It's about getting here. Exactly. Cami's kind of in the middle of a construction project on some of the main roads to, to where we normally bring the traffic in. So. We have extra signs out, and just please, you know, take a little patience and follow the signs in. Uh, we've done the best we could. The city's worked with us really well about letting us put some extra signs up, so we should should be able to get people here. Just it'll be a little bit of a detour. And it was easy for us. We followed the signs right directly here, so an easy thing to do. Well, and you know, so if there's ever been a time when you've said, I, I think I'm going to try growing dahlias, I can't imagine a better place to come out and visit. That it's, first of all, it'll take your breath away looking at the fields. Then you'll get to learn how to grow them. You'll get to learn how to cut them and make arrangements. It's really all-encompassing. So for more information about this wonderful event, you can go to gardentime.tv, and we'll click you over to their website. Always a pleasure, Nick. Thank Thanks you. so much.